you work. No, Pepper. You mustn't touch the computer. And George, you mustn't touch the computer either. Yes, George. You mustn't do this. Pepper, stop! Sorry, Mummy. I was just showing George what not to do. Oh, dear. The computer is not meant to do that. Daddy Pig! Daddy Pig! What is it, Mummy Pig? Daddy Pig, can you mend the computer? Um. I'll finish the lunch while you mend the computer. Uh, right you are, Mummy Pig, but I'm not very good with these things. Oh, thank you, Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig is going to mend the computer. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Um, maybe if I just switch it off and then switch it on again. Daddy Pig has mended the computer. Hooray, Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am a bit of an expert at these things. Maybe Peppa is teasing George just a bit too much. Peppa, have you been teasing George? Not really, Mummy. I was teaching him how to catch. Really? Oh, well, I know a game that will teach George how to catch. It's called Piggy in the Middle. <laughs> Peppa, you take the ball and stand over there, and George, you stand over there. Good. You have to throw the ball to each other, and I have to try and catch it. I'm the piggy in the middle. <laughs> Mummy is the piggy in the middle. <laughs> catch, George. Oh, missed it. George has caught the ball. Hooray! <laughs> well done, George. Now you throw the ball to Pepper. Oh, try again. Oh, try again. George cannot throw the ball past Mummy Pig. Come on, George, give the ball to me. <laughs> <laughs> Silly George. <laughs> I can do that too. <laughs> Peppa wanted to copy George, but she's too big and has got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig wears glasses. He needs to wear glasses to see clearly. When Daddy Pig wears his glasses, everything looks fine. But when Daddy Pig takes his glasses off, he can't see things clearly. Everything looks a bit soft and fuzzy. So it is very important that Daddy Pig knows where his glasses are. <laughs> Sometimes Daddy Pig loses his glasses. Pepper, George, have you seen Daddy Pig's glasses? He can't find them anywhere. No, Mummy. Peppa and George do not know where Daddy Pig's glasses are. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig cannot see a thing without them, and it makes him very grumpy. Without his glasses on, Daddy Pig cannot read his newspaper. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Somebody must have put my glasses somewhere. Do you remember where you last put them, Daddy Pig? When I don't wear them, I always put them in my pocket. But they aren't there now. Daddy, can we help find your glasses? Good idea, Pepper. If you find them, Daddy will stop being so grumpy. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George are looking for Daddy's glasses. Pepper looks under the newspaper, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. 
Oh. George looks on top of the television, but Daddy Pig's glasses are not there. Oh. Let's look upstairs in Mummy and Daddy's bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, George. Are you ready for breakfast? We're having cereal. Good morning, Mummy Pig. Can we have pancakes today? Oh, I don't think we have the right ingredients for pancakes. Please, please, can we have pancakes? Begged Pepper. OK, we'll have to check the fridge and see what we have. Oh, thanks, Mummy Pig. Yay! Sounds like Pepper's very excited. Hmm, what do we have in the fridge? Oh dear, not the right ingredients at all. We're going to have to write a shopping list, Pepper, and go shopping, advised Mummy Pig. Here's our shopping list. Let's write down what we need. Firstly, there's two pints of milk, four eggs, one flour. Oh, Mummy Pig, you've spelt flour wrong. Oh, silly me. That's flour. OK, now let's go shopping. Mummy Pig, Peppa and George head to the supermarket. Danny Dog is at the checkout. Thanks, Candy Cat, for helping me with my shopping. Oh, it's a pleasure, Danny Dog. Enjoy the pasta. Meow. Bye. Woof. Bye. Meow. Oh, look, here's Mummy Pig with her shopping trolley. Now, Peppa, we need to find all the ingredients for the pancakes. OK, Mummy Pig, I'll go and find them. What shall we get first, George? Why don't you try and find the milk first, said Mummy Pig. OK, Mummy Pig. OK, George, you can help too. Now, where's the milk? Chop, 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 chop. Oh, look, here it is, Mummy Pig. I found the milk. <gasps> well done, Pepper, praised Mummy Pig. <coughs> I've got two pints of milk. <coughs> Yay! I found the milk. Into the trolley goes the milk. Let's cross it off Mummy Pig's shopping list. <coughs> I'll go and get the eggs now, Mummy Pig. OK, Pepper. I found the Mummy Pig. <gasps> Gosh, that was quick. Put them in the basket then, and I'll cross them off the list too. <laughs> now let's find George. Doop -doop. George? George! George has gone to look for the flower. George, have you found the flower? <laughs> oh, well done, George. Let's put it in the basket. Into the trolley goes the flower. Let's cross it off Mummy Pig's shopping list. Now we need to go to the checkout and pay for the ingredients. Hello, Candy Cat. Oh, hello, Mummy Pig. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. What are you making today? We're making pancakes. Oh, I love pancakes too. I want to make blueberry pancakes, Mummy Pig. Well, we better get home and make some then, George. Bye, Candy Cat. Mummy Pig, Peppa Pig and George are back home with their shopping. There's milk, flour, eggs, blueberries. These pancakes are going to be delicious. Mummy Pig, I'm so excited to make pancakes. I can't wait. Right, so now we need to add all the ingredients to the mixing bowl. Who wants to help? Okie doke. I've got the flour. OK, let's put it in then, Pepper. I'm so excited. In goes the flour. Whoosh! Well, next, George, we should add the milk. Do you want to do it? Glug, glug, glug. Now we have to put in the eggs. Do you have them, Pepper? Here they are. Crack, splash. In it goes. Well done, Pepper. Now what do we do, Mummy Pig? 
Now we have to stir all the ingredients together. We don't want lumpy pancakes, do we? Yeah. No. Now it's time to cook them in the pan. Mummy Pig better do this bit, because it's very hot. Let's pour in the mixture. Sizzle, 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 sizzle. Uh, do you think we should toss the pancakes? <gasps> yes, Mummy Pig, please. One, two, three. <gasps> oh no, the pancake has landed on George's head. <laughs> Are you okay, George? <coughs> Well, we should probably put it on a plate first, George. Hmm? <laughs> Don't the pancakes look delicious? There's maple syrup and George has a blueberry one. <gasps> wow! Who wants some maple syrup? Oh, yes, please, Mummy Pig. I'm going to pour some on now. Swoosh! <laughs> Chomp, chomp, chomp. These are delicious. Oh, my piglets. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm planting these seeds. Seeds? What do seeds do? Seeds grow into plants. I just make a little hole and put the seed in. Then I cover it with earth and water it. Everything in my garden grows from tiny seeds like these. Even the big apple tree? Oh, yes. This tiny seed will grow into a little apple tree, like this. Ooh. And that little apple tree will grow into a big apple tree, like this. Ouch! Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and inside this apple are more seeds. To make more apple trees. Exactly. Grandpa, Grandpa! I want to plant a seed. Would you like to plant a strawberry seed? Yes, please. This seed will grow into a lovely strawberry plant. First, make a little hole. Then I put the seed in and cover it with earth. Shall I water it for you? No, no. I want to water it. Good. Now we wait for it to grow. Pepper and George are waiting for the seed to grow. It's not doing anything. <laughs> You'll have to be patient, Pepper. It will take a long time to grow. Pepper, George, it's time to go home. But we're waiting for my strawberry plant to grow. <laughs> I want strawberries for tea. Don't worry, Pepper. Next time you come, the seed will have grown into a plant. I love strawberries. Yes. <laughs> George, I know how to cure hiccups. You have to do what I say. <laughs> <laughs> rub the top of your head and rub your tummy. Good. Now your hiccups have gone. Pepper's cure for hiccups doesn't seem to have worked. George, you have done it all wrong. I know a better way to cure hiccups. First, jump up and down three times on one leg. Now, wave your arms up and down and stick your tongue out. <coughs> and now, close your eyes and turn around quickly three times. Pepper's new cure hasn't worked either. George still has hiccups.
Daddy Pig is taking the stabilizers off Peppa's bicycle. Are you sure you want to ride without stabilizers? Yes. You've never done it before. I can do it. I can. I can. <laughs> it's not funny. Riding without stabilizers is not easy. Would you like some help, Peppa? Yes, please, Daddy. All right. Ready, steady, go! Don't let go, Daddy. Don't worry. I've got you. You're doing really well, Peppa. Hold on, Daddy. <laughs> Just keep pedalling. Peppa is riding on her own without stabilizers. Daddy, you let go! <laughs> You've been cycling on your own for ages. Have I? You're really very good at it. Am I? Oh, I can do it. Look at me, look at me. I can ride my bike properly. <laughs> Peppa and George are waiting for Susie Sheep to come over. Daddy Pig has promised to read them all a fairy tale. I wonder when Susie is going to arrive, George? <gasps> Here she is. Hi, Susie. Hi. <laughs> Here comes Daddy Pig. Hey, kids, are you ready for a fairy tale? Yes, Daddy Pig. Yes, Daddy Pig. OK, well, settle down. Let me open my book. Once upon a time, there was a princess, and she lived in a huge, beautiful castle. The castle was enchanted and full of many magical items. She loved her castle and the magic, but had nobody to share it with. She spent her days dreaming of playing with friends and having fun. And she became very lonely. Oh, that is sad. She's all alone. Until one day when she decided enough was enough, she approached the magical mirror and asked to be granted a wish. Magical mirror, I wish I had someone to play with me. When suddenly the mirror started glowing and a magical fairy floated out of the mirror. Hello there, magical fairy. Please grant my wish for me. I would love to have a friend to play all day with me. When you wake up in the morning, you shall have what you wish for. Oh, thank you, magical fairy. Zoom! And suddenly, the fairy was gone. The princess was so excited about waking up in the morning, she went straight to bed. And in the morning, she woke up to a loud... What is that dreadful noise? Oh my! Is that a dragon? The princess quickly rushed outside to meet her new friend. Oh, oh, oh so exciting. Oh, oh, gosh. I wonder what his name is. Hello there, Mr. Dragon. Would you like to play with me? <coughs> Suddenly, the dragon fired his breath of fire onto all of the pretty flowers. <coughs> Don't burn the flowers! <laughs> Couldn't seem to stop. Those are my beautiful flowers. How could you do that? <laughs> the princess then decided to try something different. She brought out her favourite toy to see if the dragon wanted to play with it. The dragon looked at the toy and... The toy was incinerated by the dragon's fire. Oh no! Maybe the dragon will like some jelly. Everybody likes jelly. But the dragon didn't like the jelly. The jelly was blasted with fire! 
princess was so upset that her new friend didn't want to play. She went back to the magical mirror and asked for another wish. Magical mirror, I wish for a knight in shining armour to tame the nasty dragon. Just as before, the magical fairy appeared from the mirror. Hello, magical fairy. Will you grant my wish? When you wake, your wish will come true. Zhoop! And like that, the fairy was gone. The princess returned to bed and waited until the next morning. When the morning came, the princess began to hear laughter from outside. She raced to the balcony to see what was happening. And what she saw was amazing. The dragon had been tamed by a knight in shining armour. Oh, wow! My wish has come true. Thank you for taming the dragon, Sir Knight. <laughs> the knight sat bravely on the back of the tamed dragon. A slightly friendlier roar this morning. The knight landed on the grass next to the castle. The princess thanked the knight for taming the dragon. Thank you so much. Bye, Mr. Dragon. Bye. Wow, look at him fly. And the dragon flew off through the sky. The magical fairy, the knight and the princess had a wonderful day playing. Ah, oh, and they all lived happily ever after. Well, there we go kids. What did you think of that story? It was great, Daddy Pig! Yay! George, Pepper, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig all like custard doughnuts. I don't have a special box, but I know a very good place to hide my custard doughnut. Can you guess where? Hmm. Are you going to hide it in the fridge? No. Somewhere much more special. My tummy. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I'm going to hide mine in my tummy. Me too. <laughs> Watch out for the trees. You might get the kite stuck in one. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has got the kite caught in a tree. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. <laughs> Daddy will get the kite down. Hooray! <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Careful! There's a big muddy puddle. Pepper and George love to jump in muddy puddles. Can we jump in the puddle? Please? <laughs> no, I don't want you covered in mud. Oh. Stand back, children. Please be careful, Daddy Pig. I know what I'm doing. Please be careful. <laughs> Just a bit further, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you are much too heavy for that branch. Nonsense! I know exactly how heavy I am. There. Hooray! Daddy Pig has rescued the kite. Whoa. Oh dear. Everyone is covered in mud. <laughs> it's only mud. <laughs> 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 
Luckily, Daddy Pig hasn't hurt himself. And the kite is out of the tree. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Let's eat. Good idea, Mummy Pig. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> ah, I feel quite sleepy. I thought you wanted to run around a bit, Daddy Pig. Later. <laughs> Look, there's a little duck pond. <laughs> Mummy, can we feed the ducks? Yes, you can feed them the rest of the bread. <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding bread to ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, I think they want some more. That was the last of the bread. I'm sure they've had enough. Sorry, Mrs. Duck. We've no more bread. The ducks want more food. So much for Daddy Pig and his exercise. <laughs> what? You lot again? Peppa told you. There's no more bread. Mummy, we do have strawberry cake. Well, if there's any cake left over, you can give it to the ducks. <laughs> Everyone likes Mummy Pig's homemade strawberry cake. Poking Pig was a merry old pig, and a merry old pig was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddle as three. And every fiddler he had a fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with the king and his fiddle as three. King Pig was a very old pig, and a merry old pig was he. He called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddle as three. And every fiddler had a fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with the king and his fiddle as three. A merry old pig, and a merry old pig was he. And he called for his pipe, and he called for his bowl, and he called for his fiddle as three. And every fiddle he had a fine fiddle, and a very fine fiddle had he. Oh, there's none so rare as can compare with the king and his fiddle as three. Today we're going to play Peppa's dress-up game. Are you ready? Let's go! So here's Peppa in a lovely green field, but we're missing some parts of the picture. Who could she be dressed as? She's wearing a lovely pink dress with a bow on. Do you know who she's dressed as? And she's got a pink bonnet on. Who can you think that wears a pink bonnet? What's this? A staff? Who has a staff? That's right, Little Bo Peep! Well done! Look, it's George in front of a castle. But we're missing some parts of the picture. What could he be dressed as? He's got silver armour on. Do you know what he's dressed as? He's holding a shield. 
Who would hold a shield? And a silver feathered helmet. What could George be? That's right, a dashing knight. Here's Pepper in the forest. Do you know who she could be dressed as? She's got red shoes on. Who wears red shoes? And she's wearing a red hooded cloak. Do you know who she could be? She's carrying a basket. Who could she be? <laughs> it's Little Red Riding Hood, of course. Look, it's George on an island. Hmm, what could he be dressed as? He's wearing white and blue stripes. He's holding a spyglass. He's wearing an eye patch. Hmm, who would wear an eye patch? And he's wearing a pirate's hat. He must be a pirate. Here's Peppa in a pretty garden. I wonder what she's dressed as. Oh, she's wearing a lovely crown. She's holding a magic wand. What do you think she's dressed as? She has fairy wings. <gasps> she must be a fairy. Look, it's George and he's in space with the stars and planets. He's wearing space boots and gloves. What could he be dressed as? And a space helmet. <gasps> He must be an astronaut. Wow, Peppa is on stage in the theatre. What do you think she's dressed as? She's wearing a red leotard. Look, a pretty tutu. What could she be dressed as? Ah, a tiara. She must be a ballerina. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you had fun. Bye. What other instruments are in the box? Just this horn. Can I try? You have to blow it very hard. <gasps> that does not sound right. It's impossible. I think I used to be able to play it. <gasps> that really does not sound right. <laughs> Maybe it just needs someone big and strong like me. <sighs> that does not sound right either. <sighs> Peppa's right. It is impossible to play. Never mind, Daddy Pig. Just stick to the accordion. You play it beautifully. Oh, well, I do play it quite nicely, even if I say so myself. And I'll play my violin. And I will play my drum. Mummy Pig plays the violin. Daddy Pig plays the accordion. Pepper plays the drum. But what instrument will George play? George is blowing the horn. Mummy couldn't play the horn, and Daddy couldn't play it, and even I couldn't play it. <laughs> but George can play it. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a beautiful butterfly. Grandpa? Why do butterflies like flowers? They get their food from flowers. How? 
They have very long tongues. Longer than mine? <laughs> oh, yes. The butterfly's tongue is even longer than yours. She uses it to drink from the flower. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh Peppa, the butterfly thinks you're a flower. <laughs> I'm not a flower. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty. I want to be a butterfly. <laughs> Peppa is playing at being a butterfly. I'm a little butterfly. <laughs> George wants to play too. <laughs> George, I'm the butterfly. You have to be something else. I know. You can be a wriggly worm. <laughs> look, look, I'm a butterfly. <laughs> What's this? Pepper has found a box of old clothes. Wow. <laughs> this is Daddy's hat. And this is Mummy's dress. George, let's dress up and pretend to be Mummy and Daddy. <coughs> here is Daddy's hat. <laughs> and here is Daddy's coat. <laughs> Hello, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now it's my turn. <coughs> this is Mummy's dress. <laughs> This is Mummy's hat. <laughs> Daddy Pig, where are your shoes? <laughs> I need some shoes too. <laughs> now I need to look beautiful, just like Mummy. Peppa has found Mummy's makeup box. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> For some powder. <laughs> Lovely. Now for some lipstick. What a pretty Mummy Pig. <laughs> Come along, Daddy Pig. It's time to go to work. <laughs> Pig is waiting for school to start when Danny Dog arrives on his new skateboard. Hi Pepper, what do you think of my new skateboard? It's great! I wish I had one like it. Do you want to see me do some tricks? Yeah! Look, even Madame Gazelle has come out to see Danny Dog on his skateboard. Wow! I wish I had a skateboard. How about you, Susie Sheep? Oh yeah, it looks great fun. Whee, look at me go. Careful, Danny. You don't want to hurt yourself. Whee. <laughs> Yay, go Danny Dog. Right, everyone, it's time for school to start. Let's get to class. Okay, class, as Danny Dog has got us thinking about fun ways to travel, let's think of some more. Oh, what about riding a bike? That's a good one, Peppa. There are also trains, planes, cars, scooters, walking. Peppa daydreams about flying a rocket into space. Peppa in her rocket, flying through space. Would you like to fly into space? Peppa better stop daydreaming about going into space in a rocket and listen to Madame Gazelle. <laughs> what is your favourite type of transport, kids? I always have so much fun when my family go on holidays in our camper van. Peppa is remembering a lovely holiday she went on with her family. There's nothing better than having a breakaway in the camper van, says Daddy Pig. Being out in the open mountain air. 
Yay! George and I always had so much fun on our camper van holidays. Well, kids, why don't you go home tonight and for your homework, write a story about different types of transport that you like. Oh, look, here comes Grandpa Pig on his train to pick up Pepper from school. Hi, Grandpa Pig. Thanks for picking me up. It's okay, Pepper. Have you had a good day? Yeah, I've learnt all about different types of transport. Well, as we're talking about transport, why don't you jump on board the train? Let's head off. Oh look, Mummy Pig and George are waiting in their car. You are back just in time, Pepper. We're about to go to the shops to buy George a bike. Danny Dog has just got a new skateboard. He was showing it to everyone at school. I want to come too. Daddy Pig and I were talking, and you've been so good lately, we're going to buy you a scooter. <gasps> Thanks, Mummy Pig. Oh, look at Pepper's lovely red scooter. And doesn't George look good on that bike? <laughs> Yay! This is so much fun! Well done, George! Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are watching from the kitchen. I'm so glad we brought them these toys. Look at how happy they are. Yay! wee ha! <laughs> oink, 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 oink. This has been one of the best days ever. I'm so lucky that Mummy and Daddy Pig gave me a scooter. Cars on the road, look how fast they go. All four wheels go round and round on the way back home. Beep beep here, a honk honk there. Here a beep, there a honk, everywhere a beep honk. See the cars on the road, look how fast they go. Bobbing boats on the sea, crashing through the waves. You can watch them sail on by on rivers, streams and lakes. Row, row here, a bob, bob there. Here a row, there a bob, everywhere a row, bob. Bobbing boats on the sea, crashing through the waves. Mummy Pig and Peppa are at Miss Rabbit's shoe shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. We would like to buy some new shoes for Peppa, please. Red shoes. Oh, I'm sure we can find you some lovely new shoes, Peppa. Red ones, please. Of course. Red ones. Wow. No red shoes. <laughs> George and Daddy Pig are playing draughts. Oh, well done, George. Daddy, Daddy! <laughs> Look at my new shoes! They're red! I say, they are red. Mummy, do you like my new shoes? Yes, Peppa. They make you look very smart. George, do you like my new shoes? Everyone likes Peppa's new shoes. I like my new shoes so much. I don't want to ever take them off. <laughs> <laughs> it is bath time. Peppa wants to keep her new shoes on, even for her bath. <laughs> Peppa is in her pyjamas. She still has her new shoes on. <laughs> Peppa even wants to wear her new shoes in bed. Peppa, are you sure you don't want to take your shoes off? I don't want to ever take my new shoes off, Mummy. Very well. Good night, Pepper and George. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Mummy. Good night, Daddy. Good night, my little piggies. What do you little tigers want to do next? Dinosaur. That's right. We have to find George a dinosaur balloon. <laughs> Let's get you all balloons. Hooray! 
<laughs> Hello, Madam Gazelle. We'd like some balloons, please. Certainly. I've got lots of different ones. Can I have an elephant balloon, please? Here you are, Peppa. Can I have a kangaroo? A lion, please. A monkey, please. A parrot, please. <laughs> oh, yes, I've got all those. <laughs> Most important of all, we need a dinosaur balloon for George. Oh, dear. I do not seem to have any dinosaur balloons. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, George. I've got an idea. Could we have two of the long balloons, please? Watch this, everybody. What is Daddy Pig doing with the balloons? There. Can anyone guess what it is? Is it a kangaroo? <laughs> no. It's a... Dinosaur. That's right. A dinosaur. Daddy Pig has made a balloon dinosaur. Grrr. Dinosaur. Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. Peppa and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy. <laughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise. And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy. Quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One, two... Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no. <laughs> is there something secret going on? Uh, no, nothing's going on. <laughs> but you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. <laughs> OK, Peppa. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two... Three. Oh dear, we haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow, really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Bobbing boats on the sea, crashing through the waves. You can watch them sail on by on rivers, streams and lakes. Row, row here, a bob, bob there. Here a row, there a bob, everywhere a row, bob. Bobbing boats on the sea, crashing through the waves. Watch the planes in the sky, flying through the clouds. Dipping, ducking, swooping, soaring high above the ground. But swoop, swoop here, a saw, saw there. Here a swoop, there a saw, everywhere a saw, saw. Watch the planes in the sky flying through the clouds. Get in line for the bus at the big bus stop. It can take you anywhere, cinema, schools and shops. Ding, ding here, a break, break there Here a ding, there a break Everywhere a ding, break Get in line for the bus At the big bus stop See the train on the tracks It's a platform three Mind the gap when you board And sit down next to me with a chug chug here and a choo choo there Here a chug, there a choo, everywhere a chug choo See the train on the tracks, it's a platform three Watch the bikes in the park, riding up and down Don't forget to put your helmet on and pedal round and round Pedal pedal here, ding ding there, here a pedal 
metal barraging, everyone is pedaling. Watch the bikes in the park riding up and down. Da 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 A car, a boat, a plane, a bus, a train, a bike, so many modes of transport. Hey everyone, today we're going to play Peppa's Transport Game. Can you guess what mode of transport's in the picture? Let's go! Hmm, what do we have here? An exhaust pipe? What could have an exhaust pipe? And there's one, two, three, four wheels! What's this? A steering wheel? What has a steering wheel? Here's two wing mirrors! Do you know what mode of transport has wing mirrors? What's this? Two headlights! A red roof! And a red body with doors and a bonnet! What could it be? That's right! It's a car! Let's play again! Now boys and girls, what could this mode of transport be? What's this? A chimney? What's Grandpa Pig holding on to? It's a lever! And he's riding at the front next to the engine. What has an engine? Wow! Look at all those wheels, so many! What has lots of wheels? Ah, oh, there we go! Do you know what it is? That's right, it's a steam train, of course! What could be next? Hmm, what mode of transport could this be? It has one, two, three, four, five round windows! That's a lot of windows! It's very long shaped, isn't it? What could it be? Wow! It has two big wings on the side and little wings at the end. There are three little wheels. Do you know what it is? That's right, a plane! Let's play again! What do you think this mode of transport is? Look! There's a deck with a bell on it. What has a deck? And there's a steering wheel! Look at all those round little windows! What could it be? And here's a lever! What's that? A pirate flag? What mode of transport has a flag? And there's a propeller on the bottom under water. Wowee! It's a boat! Did you guess it, boys and girls? What could be next? Now this mode of transport is high up in the sky. Look! Big yellow rotor blades. What could it be? And more rotor blades. Do you know what mode of transport it could be? Hanging down is a winch for pulling things up. There's two red rails at the bottom. It has a big red body and tail. What is it? It's a helicopter! Thanks for watching boys and girls. I hope you had fun. Bye!